Come into this now. Police Minister Begit Kaile is back in Riverley, just south of Johannesburg. Specialized units were deployed to the area. This after gun battles between rival Zamazama groups and over 100 people have now been arrested. Let's listen in to what exactly uh, is happening on the ground. Pure Liswiti Jones, what are we listening to? Ultimately, right now, these are some of the suspected Zamazama speaking to the media here. Some of them saying they've been in the hall for about two to three weeks as well um, and they've been apprehended by members of the police uh, we're currently also seeing the minister of police but he's arriving here and the a provincial commissioner there will be uh, of course briefing the media uh, Mister, what have you seen here what, what have we seen too many things we have seen here we this is only for this morning all the stuff pendugas as you can see the generators but we have moved around the park here where there is a illegal a connection of the of the electricity from from the area where people live and i'm told that uh, as the people complain about that they, those people they intimidate they use guns to chase them back to the houses and all that but uh, where one has moved we really need a, a proper rehabilitation of the place kill those bushes, make the place inhabitable so that these Zamazamas cannot move around there. Uh, that's one thing that uh, we want to put on the table. But also we have seen those places that have been temporarily closed. One of them is indeed has been open. But it tells us that we need to be more professional in closing those things. It can't just be the soil that we put there. Uh, there are other holds that have been closed professionally so we are talking to the department responsible for that to make sure that it happens but uh, before that uh, we need to wipe the place we need to get all these people uh, some of them here uh, far more than 100 now that have been connected but we need to continue to make sure that most of them are found together with their guns and uh, with all their equipment of doing this illegal thing. Minister, what's the long-term solution? I mean, we saw the special task force. We were told that's the last line of defense from SAPS coming here to deal with this issue here. What is a long-term solution? I mean, if you have to deploy the last line of defense, what does this say about resources on the ground as well? Well, the, but you have seen what the last uh, line of defense has done. For <laughs> Zamazamas. Uh, yes, for the, the line of defense that you are talking about, that is National Intervention Unit and the, and the Special Task Force. We have seen what they have done since they have come here. We have seen what the community themselves have done. But the broader plan, uh, I'm not going to stand here and give you the broader plan. I will talk to you later when I have seen the communities, because indeed we are working on that. Uh, it should not be just the Rivali only on this place. It should be much broader, especially provincially. We are working on that as we are here. Uh, the pushback that we are putting here, it will have to be provincial, is exactly what we are working on it. Minister, Minister uh, we just want to ask about the guys arrested. Uh, we see that there are sites that have been uh, taken in by the vehicle. Ignala, can you please tell us a bit about those who have been arrested and what you consider being arrested? Well, those are part of Zamazamas. As I've said, that since we started operations, we have arrested more than 100 of them. These are just arrested this morning. And uh, what is funny, all of them, or most of them, are not South Africans. Uh, they are coming from uh, different countries, and mostly they will be undocumented. I asked them, two here come from Zim, and one come from, uh, come from Mozambique. Uh, so that's what we have been doing, and that's what we continue to do. As I've said that, speaking later uh, to you about the broader plan, including talking to those governments, including talking to the counterparts uh, of, or, of, the, or, of these countries, especially Mozambique and Lesotho, uh, those are the ministers already I have met uh, trying to deal with this situation. So there is a broader plan that we are working on, and we hope that plan won't stop here. This will be ignition and will continue and we have no business to stop. Minister, we're losing the fight against this economic sabotage. I mean, we're seeing what happened in Kruger's Stop and in Westville. Uh, women were gang raped. To date, those uh, who were involved in that have not been arrested. Now we're in River Lee. It's spiraling all over Gauteng. What is the permanent solution here to deal with Zamazamas, Minister? Well, 
you, you, you start at uh, Krukastor, and uh, the way you're working with this, we didn't start on that. We started in 2018, uh, Jones. Uh, maybe you were not around then. <laughs> we, we started in 2018 in Velkom. This special team started in Velkom, where we put a team, because in Velkom, they went underground, but they were disturbing electricity and water underground. So we sent the team where we started working with the private, uh, with the private companies, uh, they helped us on that in terms of resources. And that Free State team is still working. Maybe that's why I don't hear anything about Velcom. But the major problem on this thing started in Velcom. And uh, where they messed up the community, messed up the infrastructure, and all. we have reversed it. So I hear many of you saying that uh, uh, starting here, no, it started mostly in Free State. And we have put, uh, we have put measures uh, starting from there. We're continuing to put those measures. Indeed, we can't allow the community to live under fear and all that. And what you see here, whether they'll call it the line of defense or what, but communities, communities, I've been talking to them, they're quite okay. And we're mo we making a lot of repelling, a lot of reversal on the, on the situation here. What we need to do is to broaden it. Well, I was in Cape Town yesterday. I came back last night. Uh, the problem in Cape Town mostly is between the city and the, the associations, Sandako and the local associations there. Uh, it started about three days ago where there was a problem in the rank, there was a clash. The major problem for us as the police is that as this thing happens, you move the police from crime prevention and you move them to the situation that can be easily resolved. I was there uh, introducing the police station that we are building and uh, uh, together with J.P. Smith and the, the MEC there uh, launching Chanel. As we were there, there were these clashes going on there. So yesterday there was a meeting uh, of the taxi associations. One went to see the leadership in the morning because we were trying to dissuade them not to continue uh, with the strike. There are three most interest, uh, interesting issues that we needed to protect about the strike of the Texas. One is that there is a World Cup there that is going on. Secondly, as a South African police service, we are thrown out of our main function to go and deal with this situation. Thirdly, there will be activities come uh, August 9, the women's, uh, the, the, the women's Month and all that. There will be quite several of those activities. So if there is no transport, uh, matters might be difficult for those people, including the president that is going on there. So I, I read somewhere that J.P. Smith said fairly encouraged, uh, <laughs> encouraged the taxi industry to go start. I, I don't want to talk with uh, J.P. Smith. I, I think the guy needs a serious psychological help. Uh, I, I needs a serious psychological help. I sat with him on the stage. I raised the matter with the MEC to say we need to resolve the thing. I taken the responsibility of take, talking to the MEC there of safety. I spoke to the Minister of uh, Transport and Minister of Culture. As we talk now, Minister of Transport has just landed in Cape Town. He's trying to speak to all those that are responsible with the MEC transport. I hope he gets the city, but get the police. So we are trying to resolve that matter. It's quite violent. Two buses were banned yesterday when this thing was announced. And, but my, 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 my pain heart goes to the people of Langa, Kukule, to Kailisha where those that are trying to help those that are going to work, school and all, they are, they are themselves are assaulted, their cars are stopped, their cars are, 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 are destroyed and all that. We are making the call to say allow the people to live their life and the, the, the associations together with the government of Western Cape and the local uh, government of the city of Cape Town, they must resolve the matter and allow the people to live better there.
Minister, your dilemma around this issue. Go ahead, Kaya. Just a quick one here back to everybody. You see, police minister working hard, tirelessly arresting and making arrests, more than 100 have been arrested. Has there been, Minister, a communication with the justice to say that no bail, let's deal with this? What's, what's the reason? <laughs> well, I, I am the Minister of Police. My, my job is to work with the guys on the ground but we have got something called a cluster where we come together. Uh, I, I can uh, reveal it that tomorrow at 11, we are seeing the president who has called the cluster to make sure that, as I'm saying to you, Jones, president said this should not be once off, deal with those things, but he's also talking to the cluster. Uh, the cluster, the, the people that make the cluster is defense, uh, it's home affairs, it's justice, correctional service, and the police. So president is meeting those people tomorrow at 11 to make sure that this thing comes to an end and the people of Gauteng and the people of South Africa, they live better. All right, thank you, okay. colleagues. Thank, thank you, you, thank you very much. This is the Minister of Police, Peggy Kale, saying that uh, there's a meeting tomorrow, an urgent meeting that will be taking place between those within the uh, cluster Welcome. of uh, justice and ensuring that these accountabilities, of course, um, there will be various law enforcement um, officials and ministers will be meeting the president to discuss this issue that is seemingly spiraling out of control in the province of Gauteng. Over 100 people have, over 100 suspected um, Zama Zamas have been arrested here, some of which of course have been in possession of unlicensed firearms, where we are currently is the Zamimpilo, informal settlement um, not quite far from an area called Bosman as well, which last year was also under a similar attack of Zamazamas this year. The Minister, of course, of Police is joined by the Provincial Commissioner in Gauteng, Mr. Elias Mawela, as well. And they're currently just assessing uh, this area here where they believe more Zamazamas have been operating. Let's just take a listen. On this one? Yeah, the committee members put the slab there on top of it. Yeah, because this side, when you came here Monday, mm -hmm. so you push the slab, so they open this side. Mm -hmm. So that's why it should be formally closed. That's yes. why the, the department responsible must really come. And mm -hmm. are talking to them too. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the minister, uh, where the Mantashi is waiting for the proper report and our proposal for these things to, to happen. Yeah. yeah. Because... All right, that's Police Minister Begi Kele with, of course, uh, the Gauteng Police Commissioner Elias Mawela Pose, as well as uh, members of law enforcement, just assessing and analysing uh, those uh, opened uh, holes with which Zamazamas uh, continuously uh, go under, operating under. It seems like the Police Minister was making a note of one that was closed just recently, but it seems these Zamazamas once again opening one next to it, saying that uh, the department responsible for it and uh, alluding to the Mineral Resources Department and Minister Gwede Mandashe having to really come to board and to assist uh, with what they're dealing with today.